everything is theoretically impossible until it is done with this most inspirational thought this is miss anupama welcoming you all on miss anupama's channel so my dear friends welcome back on my channel and today we are going to have evs part 1 science subject and this is the part 3 okay part 3 lesson number 4 water safe for drinking and which is uh, on page number 21 of your textbook okay so in this session my dear friends we are going to perform experiment number 2 okay even the theory also i'm going to explain you means theoretically i'm going to explain you and the practical experiment we are going to perform okay so now for this experiment what you need the things which we need to perform this experiment to understand the concept properly and what we are going to learn today is the topic okay that is the things which floats and the things which sinks okay now try this fill a large container with water and collect the following articles now from your house okay a steel spoon a plastic spoon an iron nail a screw a coin okay these things you have to collect it from your house from your compass box a plastic ruler an eraser a pencil a sharpener a rubber band the compass these things from your compass box you have to collect my dear friends from outside okay from outside of your house you have to collect some stones leaves soil then after collecting all these objects or things with you what you have to do put these things in the water and see whether each of them sinks or floats what do you see the eraser the sharpener the Uh, steel spoon nail screw stone coin the compass and the soil sinks in the water while the other things floats now this is the theory which i explain you just now but to understand this more what we have to do we have to do it practical we have to do it experiment okay we have to do it okay then only you will be able to understand the thing when you do then you will understand chalo we'll begin with the experiment now then. okay back to our experiment now my dear friends uh, have you ever wonder that why certain objects or things they sinks into the water and some things are objects which floats on the water have you ever think about it have you ever got that uh, doubt in your mind what will be the reason behind it because science is such a subject no you have to find a solution of each and every doubts okay it gives science gives it okay so theory plus experiment is a perfect combination of science subject okay now here this concept okay this concept of for floating and sinking is very new to you my dear friends okay now you are in the fourth standard so these things you have to be uh taking into very practical things okay now here certain objects are kept okay such and things are kept for you like for example now each object i'll just put it in the water and then we'll see we'll have a observation what will happen to that object when we put it into the water whether it sinks okay it sinks into the water uh, it settles in the water at the bottom or it floats on the water just will have a practical thing now first i will take a plastic spoon can you see this is a plastic spoon i'll just put it in the water what is observation yes the plastic spoon is floating then we will take a metal spoon okay steel spoon so i'll just drop it into the water yeah it sinks okay it sinks and it settles down in the water now we'll take a eraser my god it also sink then rubber band can you see it's floating 
a coin, a penny. Can you see? I'll just drop it in front of you only. Just see, my dear friends. Oh, yeah, that coin is also settled down. Then now I'm having a plastic ruler. Okay. It is also floating on the water. Okay. No, 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 no. It went down. It went down plastic. But why it sinks? Because the density of the scale is more than the density of the water. Then we'll have a pencil. Then eraser. Then I'm having one screw. Can you see? Here one screw is there. Okay. So it also sinks into the water. A nail. Okay. A iron nail. It also. Now here some nuts are there with me. Okay. Nut bolts. Okay. So I'll just drop it. So this also settle down. Okay. It sinks in the water. Then compass. Okay. It also sink into the water now some like stones okay colorful stones are there with me i just drop it and oh god it is also sink into the water now some small okay uh like sticks are there okay uh three uh sticks are there i'll just drop it okay one two three it is floating now some leaves i'll take my dear friends for you and i just drop it the leaves are also floating. Can you see? Yeah, then I'll take two marbles. One marble, two marbles, two marbles I'll take. I'll just drop it. Yeah, the marbles are also sink down. Okay, and some soil I'll take. I'll just put the soil. The soil also settles down. It sinks down. Okay, it sinks into the water. So, my dear friends, what do you understand by this experiment? Now, as you can see, there are certain objects, certain things which are settled down. Can you see here? Okay. They sink into the water at the bottom. Can you see? And there are certain things which are floating, which are floating on the water. What is the reason behind it? Huh? You have ever wondered about it? What is the reason? Maybe the reason is the density okay density now i'll be explaining you this word what is density now the things which are uh, sink into the water the objects are having a more density than the water now my dear students this water is also having a density the objects the things around us everything is having its own density Okay, now what is this density? I'll be explaining you. Okay, this will be a like first time you're hearing this word and this term. Okay, so now first we'll write down the things. Okay, the concept of floats and sinks. Okay, the things which are down, uh, which are sinked into the water, they are called sinkers and the objects, the things which are floating are the floaters. Now objects are things. Okay, what are the objects are things? A plastic ruler, okay, a plastic ruler, what happened to that? It sinks into the water, okay, okay, yes. Then an eraser, it is also, a pencil, it also sink. no, okay, a pencil, it is floating, can you see a pencil is floating on the water, a sharpener, it sinks into the water, a rubber band okay as you can see a rubber band a look rubber band it is floating on the water then the compass okay it sinks into the water a steel spoon okay a plastic spoon it is floating an iron nail it sinks a screw it is also sink a coin a stone sinks in water leaves they are floating on the water soil it sinks some sticks i have put into the water so they are floating on the water okay understood this table now now we'll know we'll learn more about the reason behind the things which are floating and the things which are uh, sink into the water okay my dear friends have a look on the board now, why do some things float and some things sink in the water? 
Now the reason behind is I told you because of the density. Density. Now this word is very new to you. Now, what is this density? So density is nothing but everything around us. Everything, every object around us is made by molecules. Okay. Density means the objects which we are having around us. Each and every object it is made by some tiny molecules okay very small molecules now this marker which i am holding this is also made by some molecules okay this is also having a density okay so now the floaters and sinkers now the things the objects which floats uh, uh, floats in the on the water why because they are lighter than water i told you water is also having a density the things which are lighter okay which are light in weight okay the density okay the density of that object which is lighter than water that things are objects floats on the surface of the water it floats on the surface of the water and the second one is a sinkers okay floaters and sinkers now sinkers we are going to know about it the things which are heavier the things which are heavier then water okay the heavier than water means heavier than means the density of the water uh, the, compared to that object is heavier that thing sinks in water now for example i wanted to show you now here we are having a metal spoon okay steel spoon now this spoon is made by forming the molecules okay now in this spoon okay in this metal spoon the molecules are tightly okay they are closed okay they are very close to each other and then this metal spoon is made but as we compare to this plastic spoon in this the molecules okay the molecules are little uh, what do you call loosely okay here all the molecules are very tight very close to each other and here in this plastic spoon the molecules are loosely okay they are little compared to this metal these are loose okay in this uh, plastic spoon the molecules are loose so the density of this plastic spoon is lighter as compared to the density of this metal spoon so metal spoon it sinks in the surface of the water but this plastic spoon it floats on the water understood the difference between sinkers and floaters my dear friends and uh, students okay don't confuse don't get confused about yourself okay so the density is nothing but the molecules the objects are made by tiny molecules okay so that is called a density so understood now thank you for watching my videos and keep uh, learning and just have this practice uh, practice or practical at home do this experiment learn the theory okay read the theory properly and perform this experiment at home so that you will get the real idea what is uh, floating things and what are the things which uh, sinks into the water okay my dear friends now i guess and i hope that the concept of your floating and sinking is crystal clear okay there will be no confusion at all my dear friends okay so thank you for watching my videos and uh, keep at home yourself safe and uh, keep smiling thank you so much and please do like share subscribe and tap the bell icon so that you'll get the notification of my up coming videos okay thank you so much bye for now